Ah, a tall, cold glass of water. Now, imagine salt, sand, motor oil, and some raw sewage mixed in. Not so refreshing anymore, huh? Luckily, something in nature is working to ensure your tall, cold glass of water is just tall and cold. A watershed collects water, helps to clean the water, and it moves the water downstream and provides all sorts of habitats, both for nature and people. Watersheds are nature's filtration system, and its work starts long before we turn on the tap. A healthy watershed has lots of places for rain to sink into the soil. That could be forests, it could be grasslands, it can be farms. And during a rainstorm, the rain falls down, it sinks into the soil, it moves through the soil, and eventually ends up in rivers and streams. Almost everyone in the world lives in and is connected to a watershed. Your backyard, the street you live on, even the park you play in is part of a watershed. So having a healthy watershed benefits us in just about every way there is. First of all, clean water is incredibly important for watering our crops. 70% of all fresh water that's used by people is used to irrigate everything that we eat. The second is that's where our drinking water comes from. The cleaner our water is, the better it is for us, the cheaper it is for us to buy that water as well. And third, it's important because there's all sorts of reasons we love clean water. We love to get out and canoe in it, fish in it, or swim in it. So a healthy watershed is just a wonderful thing to be able to have. In an unhealthy watershed, the rain comes down, it hits a hard surface, like a parking lot or the roof of a building. It runs out into a street, it runs into a storm drain. All those storm drains run together and they can do some pretty bad things. If you have enough rain, you can overflow sewer treatment centers, which leads to things like sewage ending up in your rivers and streams. Most rivers and streams aren't designed in a natural sense to be able to take that kind of water so fast. And that can really do damage to both the animals and plants that live in the streams and the long-term health of those streams. So what can we do to help our watersheds help us? Building a rain garden is a great way to demonstrate how to do a little bit to help improve the water quality of streams and rivers anywhere. Let's get digging, let's have some fun. Right. Rain gardens act like a mini watershed and help catch fast moving water flowing off hard surfaces. These young scientists in the marshland of Cape May, New Jersey are helping to offset the effects of rain running off nearby buildings. So during a rainstorm, the water you know, falls from the sky. Once it hits the rain garden, it slowly sinks into the soil. That process of slowly sinking in the soil does two things that are really important. The first thing is it helps to clean the water of any pollutants that the water may have picked up as it went across the street, like oil or grease. But it also helps slow the water going down into rivers and streams or into our storm drains. Simple to build, simple to make a real impact for nature. Your watershed thanks you. In order to be able to create or restore healthy watersheds, we're gonna need thousands of these scattered across a watershed. The easier they are to install, the more likely we are to get lots of little things to add up to a big effect, and that big effect is a healthy watershed. And everyone can play a role in helping to create that healthy watershed. A healthy watershed equals a tall, cold, clean glass of water. Nature works hard, and that's why we must work hard for nature. <laughs>